Hey guys, this is Casper with Tape, and today you join me in orbit around Kerbin with, um, well, with a carrier I've been working on. It's kind of a carrier, it's kind of a cross of various things. I'm not sure what I would classify this ship as, because I'm no maritime expert or spaceship expert, but it has many, um, many purposes. It's a, a carrier ship, because it has a hangar, and this isn't fully completed. I'd like to, you know, do some nice things to this front bit rather than just have a hole. Um... But it's also armoured quite heavily, hence all of this being armoured, and it has um, uh, eight 30mm cannons and eight um, of these in uh, atmosphere, no, not in atmosphere, in, in vacuum missiles. Um, and it also has space for crew and things, so it's it's kind of a multi-purpose thing. I'd call it an armed transport, I think. Um, its actual official name uh, on the game is Spaceship of the Line. Um, and WL just means with launch, because it came with a launch vehicle, because I did launch this into space legitimately, which I will put onto the end of the video, because, uh, well, I'm pretty proud. But yeah, Spaceship of the Line, because, um, well, I've been playing a lot of Total War, and playing with a lot of ships of the line, as in, like, fourth rates and third rates. Um, so I thought it would be funny to call it Spaceship of the Line, but it probably doesn't make much sense. But yeah, no, I've just, um... I've just been working on these kind of things again. Because I used to do this quite a bit, I used to build really big ships, and I did a cinematic series on it once, but um, yeah, I'm not sure I'd do a cinematic series again. I'm not even sure I'd do a series with this, but I'd like to do some videos with it, maybe take it on a few mi missions, probably like a mini-series type thing, maybe after my current one is over. Sorry, there will have been a little blip there, there was uh, a thing I just had to do. But yeah, what was I saying? Of course, my mini-series. Um, it might, I'm planning on maybe doing some sort of mini-series with this, I guess. Um, because I'd like to, you know, uh, well, not just this, just these sort of ships, you know, kind of militarized things. Um, because, you know, it's a lot of fun, and uh, these these things are quite fun to use. And I, uh, um, I am using BD Armory, of course, because uh, that is quite fun for weaponry. And you can do weaponry without BD Armory, which I used to do. Um, I used to build, like, big missiles, kind of in the same vein as Macy Dean, which is the obvious comparison, which I'm sure many of you are thinking about. But, yeah, um... Um, he used to do some pretty awesome stuff, and I always like building big ships, and this is hugely armoured, but I like to think of this cargo bay here, or it's kind of a cargo bay, maybe a ship hangar, probably both, because you could probably have like a little ship here, and then these other two docking ports could have cargo on it, while you can carry, um, eight crew around, well, eight extra crew in these, um, you can't really see particularly well, but there's these, uh, eight crew would go in these canisters, um, then you can have two crew in the bridge, um, or communications array, depending on what you want, uh, which is armoured, and then on the bottom is actually the root part, so this is technically the bridge, which actually has a Kerbal in it, and this is just the observation deck, which we can go inside and take a look at the beauty that is Kerbin. Um, oh, I've, oh, and I've screwed up my controls, because, um, I like to control it from a docking port, because that's forward for me, and it is powered by, uh, six nuclear engines, as you can see back here, with a lot of fuel, so it can probably go pretty far. It's not particularly long range, I'd have to improve it a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, but it is quite fun to do this with uh, this sort of stuff with BD Armory, because it means you can make the ships fight back, and you have a lot of guns, although, I don't know, i kind of been just, uh, I don't know, maybe thinking about doing some stock stuff, I'm not really sure, but yeah, I'd love to do videos with this sort of stuff, BD Armory, big carrier fight, sender lurking just over there, is a plane I built. Um, this is, uh, well, it's not actually an SSTO, it doesn't, it doesn't work as one, so, uh, oh good, good, it is out of fuel. Um, yeah, ba basically, uh, this was designed to be an SSTO, but I didn't take, uh, I didn't bring quite enough fuel, so I did cheat it into orbit a bit, but the carrier was legit, as you will see later. Um, although that wasn't technically the same carrier, but it, it was how I got that one into orbit. But yeah, this is a little fighter I built. Um, it probably would have worked to get to orbit, but I decided to put these missiles on it last minute. But I quite like how this, like, um, looks. I like building little space fighters and things. And it's always a challenge doing with, um, modern technology sort of thing. But yeah, this has some guns I can shoot with. Um, so if I switch to this chain gun, for instance, I could just start unleashing hell upon this, uh, upon this vehicle, just, because this is using a 30mm cannon, um, although this is doing pretty well, nope, <laughs> not today, okay, the gun's overheated, what's the damage, um, oh, a little bit, rips out some armour, um, yeah, just tear this apart, just cut it up, just wreck this, uh, <laughs> it's, ooh, it actually looked pretty bad, um, I do have to say, actually, although as much fun as BD Armoury is, Oh, damn, I disconnected the engines. 
As much fun as BD Armory it is, it, it isn't quite as satisfying destroying stuff with um, with uh, the missiles and stuff in BD Armory, which I'm going to do. Um, say goodbye. Oh, thank God, I thought it was going to hit my plane, that's why I was silent. Yeah, pretty good. Um, ooh, not bad. I mean, the internals are all just wrecked, but it's not totally dead. <laughs> we will make sure that it is dead. Fire again. Yeah, these missiles are pretty damn good. Um, and there we go. A nice hit right there. Absolutely torn apart. Um, no, not absolutely torn apart. Pretty wrecked, though. I think we can agree. However, given that I have BD Armory, and given that BD Armory has a guard mode, uh, which I will show you how to set up now, because I know someone is going to be like, Peter, you gotta, how do you get the ships to shoot back? And, you know, it's not hard, so I'll show you right now. So say I want this to shoot at that fighter, I would um, show my weapon list, what weapon do I want it, want it to be firing? I'm thinking chain guns, just makes it easy. Um, what, uh, what, uh, and then to turn on guard mode, you select the guard mode tab here, you click guard mode, and then what you probably should do is set field of view to 360 degrees, it'll shoot in all directions, and then whatever guard range you want, scan interval, you know, it's up to you, but it's very easy to set up, and then if I want it to shoot at me, um, I'll just quick save here so I don't have to do that all again, I'd sell, set this to team B, so it's angry at me, and then, yeah, now I'm dead, because this is a baller, it has eight cannons, and yeah, you can see it's absolutely dead. So it's pretty easy to do, um, to, you know, do that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is just quite a fun thing to mess around with. Although I have to say, I kind of like doing this with stock parts. I'm not sure if, uh, if, um, if I'd, if I'd want to do this, because obviously BD Armory makes it simpler. It means the stuff can fight back. Although in space, Space battles with RCS, I mean, it's it's kind of a hard thing to do. I'm not sure. I, I might do some stock stuff and some BD Armory stuff with this sort of stuff, because it's hard to dodge. If you think, say, I set myself to Team B, and I'm like, okay, go to a dodge maneuver. Still dead, because I'd need some pretty powerful thrusters, which I am kind of working on. Um, but yeah, so, but it does provide some pretty fun things like guns and guard mode, as I've said multiple times. And these missiles are very cool, actually. Um, because obviously the missiles, in, well, maybe not obviously, maybe completely unobviously, um, but... I'm sure at least some of you know that uh, missiles and air turn aerodynamically. However, that can't really work in space because there's not a not an abundance of air. Um, so it uses these thrusters, which are high-powered thrusters, um, which it uses to turn, which are a similar kind of size to the uh, to the thrusters um, uh, on the back, which is pretty much what you need if you're going to be in a space battle. Uh, you need basically this engine all over it because it needs to turn and say, "Holy hell, that stood up to that really well." It is a hardy carrier. I would like to try and um, destroy this Macy Dean style, actually. Um, get some solid rocket boosters, old school it. So yeah, um, you know, I, 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 this isn't the end of the video, but this is the end of my live commentary bit. Um, I'll have to hand you over to future me. Oh, I severed the head off the beast. Um, it is a beast in fairness. Uh, as you can see with the eight, uh, the eight 30mm cannons and the missiles on the front, which guard mode can also fire. But I'm not going to do too much of that. Um, and you can see at the back it's got some cool stuff like these docking ports, which you can obviously dock to. But yeah, tell me what you think about this, if you, if you enjoyed it and stuff, you know, um, just tell me or like it or whatever. And, uh, a few, and a couple of questions. One, what kind of name would you think would be good for this ship? If you feel like naming this ship and you have a good suggestion, I might pick it. Because it needs, it's Spaceship of the Line, it's not its name, it's its class, I guess. Um, and... If you were to watch this sort of thing, would you prefer it to be like with BD Armory or kind of stock weaponry where I have to come up with things and put solid boosters on it? Kind of very Macy Dean-esque is just the way I'd say it. So yeah, you know, leave all that in the comments and now just enjoy watching this launch into space. Yes, so this is the launch. This is all uh, post commentary and four times time acceleration. This is just basically showing you how you would get this into war, but basically just put massive boosters on it. It's uh, much easier nowadays with these uh, 3.75 meter parts and really big boosters. Um, this is probably like too much fuel and stuff, but it's a space carrier. I wasn't going to go for a realistic launch vehicle. Um, no, I have missed doing this kind of stuff actually, like just building crazy launch vehicles to put stupid payloads in space. And it's just a lot of fun. Um, and it does take me back to take me back to the old days. Yeah, when I used to do this stuff a lot and you would watch Macy Dean do this kind of thing. Um, I know I've mentioned him quite a bit in this video, but it's hard not to draw the comparison. Um, 
So yeah, I, d I don't know. I would quite like to I do this kind of stock. I have actually, in a live stream I did yesterday, which got really weird. Um, uh, not because of me, because of people in chat. But anyway, um, the live stream I did, I built this awesome SSTO fighter, which used stock missiles with, like, SRBs on it, and they would be really cool, and they're pretty good at breaking stuff. I know that for a fact. Um, so I'm thinking that could be awesome, but obviously a BD armor is quite cool if I designed something with big thrusters that could dodge really quickly and do kind of like aerodynamic move maneuvers just using thrusters and then, you know, dodge, maybe use flares or something, get in, kill a carrier. It could be pretty challenging. I mean, I'll probably just do both because, I mean, you know, what's stopping me? Um, so, yeah, I mean, as I said, you know, in the previous section of this, do tell me if you think... Uh, the stock stuff would be cool, or if you'd prefer to see BD Armory. I know a lot of people probably are here for BD Armory, because it's in the title. Um, and because, I mean, a lot of my channel views have come from BD Armory, so I think it could be very cool. I think maybe if I switched out maybe 30mm for 50 cals, it might be quite cool. But anyway, I haven't even been commentating this launch, I've just been talking more about stuff. But yeah, you can see it got into orbit quite easily. Um, it detaches, there's still quite a bit of fuel in there, and that's, that's that, really. Um, but how am I going to get red? of these of these boosters with guns of course at four times time accelerate that looks absolutely mental but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this um this has been ksp with tape i will see you next time <laughs>